I'm going to do a brief um, video on how to do the projects. All right, so go to the lecture, astronomy, um, and then, uh, okay, so, so there's a folder called projects. I'm open that up and uh, I'll open up, look, I'm just going to, you know, there's, there's all of these right here. Um, just, just, I'll just open up the first one. I'm actually not going to do the, the date that, that is given. All right. So, um, all right, let me, let me, uh, download this. Oops. Uh, actually, let me download it. Well, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, all right. So, so, uh, this is, this is project part one. Um, so f for example, they're, they're going to use January 8th, um, at, uh, Let's see, I think it's 10 o'clock. Okay, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, nine o'clock. All right, so so uh, this is, this. so you, we have to first um, open up this this website, stellarium.org. All right, so, and then we're just gonna follow these instructions. It's it's really easy. Um, the, the main part of this is, um, you know, just, just getting, getting Stellarium set up. Stellarium is just a, a free program that allows you to um, to see the night sky at, at different different times and dates, all right. And the, the, all this stuff here is about um, how you know how to set the the, the timer, um, you know, for a particular night. Like for for example, this first project is for January eighth, uh, twenty twenty four. All right, so. All right. I, I, like I said, I'm not going to do that particular date. Um, and then what what we're going to do is you find out what constellation these these different objects that are in the solar system what what constellation they're in. That's the idea. All right. So um, let me let me open up uh, Stellarium. All right. So here's Stellarium.org. I just typed it in, um, and. We'll go to that website. All right. So, so the thing that we're going to use, um, you, if you wanted to, you could download like the full version of it of of Stellarium. Um, like I said, it's a free uh, program. But uh, the, if, for our purposes, this one that you can the, the, on on the extreme right here that says Stellarium Web, um, just just use that one. It's the easiest one to use. All right. So just I'm just clicking on it. So you open it up. Um, make sure you allow the uh, the cookies. All right, so so uh, here, let's go back to the instructions. Um, so the first thing is on the top left, click view and show the ecliptic. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, so, so here, we'll just do one of these one step at a time. All right, so view settings is right here. And just show the ecliptic. All right, and say uh, close. All right, so so there's the ecliptic, for example. Um, all right, let's see what the next one is. Uh, then it says, uh, da, 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 um, yeah, yeah, uh, to the right of you setting um, your horizontal line. Click on them. All right. Um, to the right of you settings, there are three horizontal lines. Click uh, across the bottom. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. All right, so th this these are the three horizontal lines that they're talking about. It just makes this uh, this window disappear, which is fine. All right, and uh, here let's go back to the next one. All right, across the bottom there are these icons, um, uh, the, and and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to toggle all toggle some of these on, some of these off. All right, so. Um, so the first one is um, use the one on the right, um, and it's the full screen. We're going to toggle that on. All right. So so this is see full screen. Toggle it on. All right. Um, I should make this a little bit bigger so you can see this. All right. So hope hopefully you can see those. Oh no 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 no. All right. I think I've arranged it so you can see. Okay. See these are the icons. So this is the full screen icon. Turn that on. Um, there's one of them that has atmosphere. Turn that off. It, it turns off the effects of the atmosphere. So you can see it looks darker. And then turn on the one that says constellations. 
right? So it shows the constellations. Um, just just to let you know, okay, so make make sure. Um, uh, what what you want to do is, if if you wanted to know, for example, what the boundary of a constellation, like for for example, um, uh, the constellation Cephas, right? If if I if I click on the name Cephas, see it shows it shows the boundary of Cephas. All right, um, you know, if I click somewhere else, it goes away. Ursa Major, or so there's Ursa Minor, where the the, the little dipper is. All right. Um, so see, that's just showing you that that's the boundary of, of that constellation. Uh, here's the Big Dipper, or part of the, you know, which is in the constellation Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Right? So, so that's showing you the, the boundary of, of the constellation. All right. So, so not now that over, oh, geez. Um, here, let me pause this. All right. So I think I've moved it so you can see this. Um, this, is, this is where the time and date are. Okay, so um, what, what we're going to do is we, if you you click on this and and we'll, we'll change the dates. For for example, you know this is um, this is June tenth, right right here. Uh, let, let's go. Let's actually go back to um, December twenty fifth, twenty twenty three. All right. So here's there's uh, there's December, and then we'll go to the twelfth. All right, and then we'll go up to the 25th, all right, to the 25th. And then, uh, see, it's right now it's at, at 10 o'clock at night, so we're going to go back and uh, we'll go to, so that's that's 9 o'clock. And, and by the way, the way that you pause it, so you see the, the timer will keep running, and then if you hit this pause button, so, so that's, that's just frozen, right? So we're, now we're frozen on December December 25th of the year 2023 at um, the, the, the clock is on a, a 24 hour, you know, we're, we're you know, uh, this is like a mil military type clock where, you know, one o'clock is, is 1300 hours, um, two o'clock is 1400 hours and so forth, right? So um, this is this 2100 hours would be, um, would be nine o'clock. 2,200 hours would be 10 o'clock, 2,300 hours would be, uh, well, it'd be 11 o'clock at night, okay? So it, it, they, they don't use PAM and PM, just, just to let you know. All right, so um, let's so let, let's say I wanted to find where, you know, on this particular day, which I've paused this, if I go up here to search, right? So, so remember, I have all these different things I have to, I have to search, okay? So here, I'm, what I'm doing is, so, so I've got it pretty much set up. Um, so we've got to find the sun, Mercury, and and, and so forth, right? The, all all of these different objects in the solar system, right? And so what what you do is in this search thing. So I'm just going to type sun, all right? And there it is. And just click on that and see it goes right to the sun, all right? So so we see so there, there's actually several planets right here. There there's there's Mercury, there's Mars, uh, there's Venus down there. Um, so, so we, uh, all right. So it looks to me like the sun is in con in the constellation of Sagittarius. To verify that, what I do is I'm going to click on the name Sagittarius. All right, and see, it's showing me the boundary of Sagittarius. Um, so, in in fact, I can see that, uh, um, like for example, Mars at, at this particular time is in the constellation Ophiuchus. Right, so if I click on Ophiuchus, uh, you, you, there there's the boundary of o Ophiuchus, and you can see that Mars is clearly in that boundary. Uh, Venus right here is in Libra. To verify that, if I if I click on the name Libra, see it shows the boundary of Libra. Okay, so so that that's how you do it. So you you just go to the you know just you type in whatever you're looking for. Let's just say I'm looking for uh, Pluto. All right, so, so Pluto, you just click on there, and remember, it's it's this it's the date uh, and the time that that we've already selected. So that that's really what the different projects are: is you, you're 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 choosing a date and time. Um, all right, so uh, all right, where is Pluto? Pluto? Yeah. 
Where is Pluto? Uh, I must have missed it. Hold on. Let me try this again. Oh, Pluto. There we go. I, I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, Pluto, come on. Where are you? Pluto. There it is. So Pluto, click. Click on it. And why am I not seeing it? Um, all right. Well, any, anyhow. Uh, where is it? It's, it should be here. Usually, it's usually when you type it in uh, up here, it it uh, it will center on that object. Hold on. All right. So so if if I uh, you know just type in the name of the object, like for example, let's do uh, Uranus. All right. So so if I click on you know click on this, it's going to center on Uranus. Okay. So it's it's th th this crosshair is right in the middle is where Uranus is. So, you know, it looks like, you know, maybe it's in Taurus, all right, so it's, it's right where this crosshair is, where this crosshair is. Actually, um, I've already done this, so I know it's, it's actually closer to Aries. So if I click on the, the, the you know, the, the name of the constellation Aries, see, um, Uranus is right there. It's, it's in the constellation um, Aries, uh, you know, at this, this particular time and date, all right? So uh, here, let's do Pluto. This is what I was trying to do earlier. Pluto. So if you do Pluto, it's just going to center on where Pluto is. Okay, so, so Pluto's over here. Um, so it looks like it's uh, it's between Capricorn and Sagittarius. So so this, you know, it's, it's not actually showing you. It's just showing you where it is. Um, all right, so, so uh, it, it's just because well, what it's doing is just showing you, like, you know uh, what you could see. You can't see Pluto with the with the unaided eye. You need you need binoculars. Okay, so um, here let's see if if we if we go in. Um, there, so it's right here. Um, all right. So here, let me go back out. I'm zooming out a little bit. All right. So if if uh, I I would imagine it's in Sagittarius. All right, because let, let's see if that area is in Sagittarius. So if I click on Sagittarius, okay, so, so see that that's within the boundary. It's showing you the boundaries of Sagittarius. All right, so, so that's how you do um, this uh, project. Or you, know, you got four of them. Um, you just make sure you do, you do each one. Um, and so, so it's really just setting the different, the different time and days. That, that, that's what the difference is in the diff, in the in the uh, in the in the different projects all right so uh, make sure you do all four of them um, 